Hi, this is Olga Haya, and in this video I'll be talking about the Copper Crisper, another as seen on TV product that claims to make delicious fried foods without the frying. I've put this product through several tests, so if you want to see if this fryer can get you that perfectly crispy fried food in your oven without having to deep fry, be sure to keep watching. The Copper Crisper is a very simple two-piece set which includes a cookie sheet and an elevated non-stick mesh crisping tray. The elevation of the mesh tray is supposed to allow the heat to circulate 360 degrees around your food, eliminating the need to flip or turn your food and giving you evenly cooked crispy fried food every time. Essentially, it's designed to transform your oven into an air fryer. The Copper Crisper is a very lightweight and compact. The company doesn't give a whole lot of detail about the coating of the cookie sheet and the mesh tray, but judging by the feel of this product, as well as some of the other products that this company has released, it's pretty safe to assume that the Copper Crisper isn't actually made out of copper. Instead, it's covered with some copper-infused, non-stick ceramic coating. The Copper Crisper is about 10 by 13 inches long, which is fairly small and probably a lot smaller than your average cookie sheet or a baking pan. Here's a quick comparison of the Copper Crisper next to another baking sheet that I had on hand. A mesh tray this size will probably not fit a whole lot of food, so that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're often cooking for large parties. However, if you are not, and if you're using something like a toaster oven that's smaller, this would definitely fit. The Copper Crisper retails for $19.99 plus a $7.99 processing and handling fee if purchased through the company's website. However, as with many other As Seen on TV products, there seem to be a lot of negative feedback surrounding their customer service, shipping, and return policies. So luckily, the Copper Crisper is also available at Bad Bath & Beyond and Amazon. Now, some of the claims that the Copper Crisper makes is that there is no turning or burning. You won't have to flip your food due to the even heat circulation. Also, that it cooks all 360 degrees of your food at the same time, so that food cooks evenly on all sides. There's also no need for added butter or oil, and that it's dishwasher safe for easy cleanup. The big distinction between the Copper Crisper and your average cookie sheet or an oven tray is the elevated mesh tray. The thinking is that with your average cookie sheet, your food lays flat on the sheet, which results it in being cooked too fast on the bottom and too slow on top, which can sometimes lead to your food burning. The Copper Crisper seems to solve that problem by providing this mesh tray, which elevates your food off of the tray, allowing the heat to circulate and evenly cook your food from both sides. And of course, in addition to using the cookie sheet and the mesh tray together, you can always use the cookie sheet on its own as a baking sheet. And the Copper Crisper also claims that you can use the mesh tray on its own on a grill. Now to test the Copper Crisper, I started out with pre-made frozen sweet potato fries. As you can see, I could only fit a little more than half the package of the fries into the Copper Crisper. I laid it out as flat as possible since that is the recommended way of preparing this. And the remainder of the fries I placed on your basic baking pan to see if there would be any difference in the way that these two batches turn out. And after about 20 minutes in the oven on the recommended heat setting, you can see that there's a pretty drastic difference between the fries that were made in the Copper Crisper and the fries in the baking pan. The Copper Crisper only had a couple of fries near the sides that had some burnt edges. However, the fries in the basic baking pan were nearly all burnt. Now, I will note that I had a slightly smaller amount of fries in my regular baking pan than I did in the Copper Crisper, but it's pretty hard to deny that the elevation provided by the mesh tray definitely helped in circulating the heat evenly and preventing that burning. I also can't complain about the texture of the fries, uh, the ones that weren't burnt that is. They were crispy and well cooked. 
Next, I tested out the copper crisper with some frozen mozzarella sticks. I simply laid out the mozzarella sticks onto the mesh tray and placed it in the oven for about 10 minutes as per the instructions. Now this small 11 ounce package of mozzarella sticks fit into the copper crisper just fine and in about 10 minutes I had cheese sticks that were evenly cooked, delicious and most importantly they weren't burned. Now it's pretty clear that the mesh tray definitely helps the cooking process in that it allows the air and the heat to circulate around the food and it really removes the need for you to constantly flip and toss your food as you're baking it. However, I also wanted to see how the cookie sheet or the baking tray performed on its own. Now here I placed some cookie dough on the tray without previously greasing it and after a few minutes in the oven, my chocolate chip cookies were ready. The baking tray seemed to perform just fine. The non-stick coating definitely helped the cookies to slide off the train without sticking or burning. So after testing out the copper crisper, I have to say that it really does deliver on most of its claims. In my experience, I never really had a problem with the food burning and I didn't really have to flip the food or toss it around while it's baking. The mesh tray also seemed to help circulate the air around and cooking the food evenly on all sides. I never noticed that there were some parts that were less cooked and some parts that were overdone. And also I agree that it really isn't necessary to add additional butter or oil when cooking with the copper crisper. The non-stick coating seemed to do a good job in preventing burning and getting your food to slide off easily without sticking. The last claim, however, is a bit puzzling because after reading the instructions that came with the copper crisper, they clearly state that this set is not dishwasher safe. Instead, it recommends that you wash this with soap and warm water. However, having said that, washing the copper crisper was fairly quick and easy. It only took me about one minute to rinse out the mesh tray and then wash the cookie sheet with some soap and water. So I hope that this review of the copper crisper was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll do our best to address every one of them. I hope that you join us next time for more product tests and reviews and don't forget to subscribe to Haya on YouTube.